So that's the first sort of quartery bit done. <laughs> that's it, I'm not feeding you anymore. You get fat. Action. Nope. Good enough, Foxy Lady. Absolutely. Obviously, not good enough, not finished yet. But second coat on. And it is still slight patches, but compared to last time, it's a lot more solid white. Hey guys, we're doing the, the Jubilee salute here. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well and some of it is absolute sheer craziness but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. So that's the first sort of quartery bit done. The reason I've done this is I've painted myself in so to get out I need this bit to be dry. So that's what I started there. Um, and then once I've gone around the rest of it, I should be able to step on that, get over, get out. Just the rest of it to go. So I'm only going to do another mix of paint. Um, yeah. But it's quite a comparison from that. So that obviously there's not that's not a solid white yet but still looks so good looking forward to putting a second coat on and getting that solid base and then building from there
guys this afternoon with sinking boats and all that good stuff. Um, we've got the first coat on. Obviously it's very patchy. Hopefully later on, if not tomorrow morning, I'll get the second coat on. It says six hours between coats, but it's very hot. I finished at 1400, so six maybe I reckon I could get through it again. But I don't want to push it too much and ruin it. But we'll see how I get on. Speak to you in a bit. Hey guys. So uh, swans that normally come and see us, Swanage and Swanley as we've named them. Uh, they were babies a little while ago. I see them swimming around and uh, swan the other on her on her back. I just brought them over to come see us. There you are. Where's your babies? What have you done with them? What you done there? <laughs> That's it, I'm not feeding you anymore. No you get fat. Edgy lot. Some babies have had some. Super cute and super fluffy. Just want to share that with you. Um, so the paint is pretty much dry now. It's 20 to 7. So I've only got a couple of hours left of daylight. And I'm thinking, I've left the masking tape on. So I'm thinking, get another coat on now. I can't get my fingernail in it, which is my sign that it's set. Um, get another coat on, give it a couple of hours, and then sort of 10, 11 o'clock tonight, wherever it is, take the masking tape off and do it all again tomorrow. That's the plan. I just got to make sure there's no breadcrumbs around here while I was feeding the swans, and uh, yeah, get on with it. Also, I need them to move their butts because cause they've got their babies down there. I think they'll be quite protective for me getting over and painting where I need to paint down there. So I let them move on. Um I give me a chance to mix the paint up and uh yeah start around two of the punishment. But she's getting there. Long way to go, but she is getting there. I'm hoping say next coat it'll give me a solid white rather than this patchiness. And then from there I'll come just build, build and build and build and build. But yeah, we shall see. I'm not gonna capture me doing it it's an absolute pain. Um looks like I'll, I'll get paint everywhere, I'm like a child. So I'm, I'm gonna I'll get on with it and I'll show you what it's like at the end if it's still daylight. Alright, I'll speak to you a bit. Hey guys, I'm getting better at this. Ten past eight, so under an hour and a half. Perfection? Nope. Good enough, Foxy Lady? Absolutely. Obviously not good enough, not finished yet. But second coat on. And it is still slight patches, but compared to last time, it's a lot more solid white. I'll have to down here a few little bits and pieces. When I was working down this side, I had the, uh, the swans and the little ones. <laughs> I wish I had my phone on me or my GoPro. So one of the big ones down there, I think it's Swanley. It was sort of my hand was down there painting. His head was sort of six inches away. I'm not saying I'm scared of swans, but I do respect their big birds and their powerful wings and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit wet, a little bit wary of them. And because he wanted more bread or bread feed and or whatever. He, his beak was going up and down with Rob Rail. He was like grinding his, whatever they've got in their, in their beak. He's rubbing it up and down, which is quite weird, but yeah. It's sort of quite nice, it was at, at peace with one another. I was painting away, and I was just, just chatting to him, and yeah, no hissing, no, no, he was quite happy. So, yeah. Anyway, completely digress, but it's just quite a cool experience for me. Um, so yeah, all pretty solid. Again, there's little patches that need addressing. There's some places where I've probably gone heavier and that's covered better than some places that got stingier. Um, I've run out of paint up here. There's a patch down here that I've proper wrung out the roller so it's not as thick as it could be. 
Um, but that's easy to keep doing access big flat area. So I'm going to give it an hour for the uh, to be touch dry like it says. Get all the masking tape off. Um, give myself an acetone bath. Um, and go again tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be dry tonight, so I'm going to be brave. I'm not going to put the hatch covers on. I'm going to leave them open tonight. Um, the only thing that's really an issue if it starts raining is this one because the back of the fridge is there. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, there's, there's no rain forecast. I'm pretty happy to put a biscuit for a biscuit and leave it all open. Um, if anything, a bit of rain there will clean all the dust off. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll, um, I'm quite happy with that. I'll see you in the morning for another couple of coats. Cheers, guys. Good morning, guys. 6 30. I've just um, gone round and picked up any little bits of dust and sort of specks that were in it. And it's looking pretty good. I need to go around and mask up again now. It's quite annoying, but. I didn't want to leave it on overnight and have tape stuck on and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get a good a good tape on in a minute, spend a bit of time doing it. Um, and then I'm hoping if I've got enough paint and or time, I'll leave it on for a second coat. Once the second coat's done, then I'll get it off. And by then, A I've run out of weather the weather window. B um, realistically I probably run out of paint at that stage. So it's still a little bit patchy in place. Also, I've run out yesterday there and it's a bit thin. But even here, there's still patchy bits. So, yeah, I've got a few more coats to go to get a nice solid. But she's getting there, she's getting there. So, I've probably got to call it a day today. Because um, Saturday, Sunday is going to be horrendous um, weather. 80% chance of rain. So, I'll see how I'll get on the next two coats and then look at ordering some more paint if that's the way it goes. Oh, I thought there was a one. That's no, right. More specs there. Yeah, I need to get a bit of a bit of better clean up, get it all masked up, and uh, here we go again. Speak to you, speak to you in a little while. Morning, guys. Uh, morning again. 0920. Third coat on. Um, I've had a bit of a, a change of heart. So. Initially, it's going to be two coats today. It's going to be a nice day today. But A, I've got the kids later. I've got to pop out and do a job um, as well later. And after that, I'll get the girls be about six ish. So, <clears throat> 10, 11, 12, that's nine hours. This paint takes days and days and days to go off. It's touch dry in an hour, and obviously, you can walk on it a few hours later. But, you know, it takes like days to go off, to go hard, hard. Um, and what I don't want is when I've got the girls here, sort of be like, oh, you don't go out the back because you don't want to damage the paint and stuff. So I just, I'm going to give it like a good six hours, whatever it's got now, to go as hard as it can be that, you know, the girls can get on and off as freely and as they want. There's no worrying about soft paint or getting paint on them or scratching it or scraping it. Um, also, last night, because I wasn't sure about the uh, the dew point, you know, the dew that is on the sort of on, on the surfaces, so I left all the hatch covers off, engine covers off, etc. But the where the fridge is in there, I put a cover on that because I didn't want the sort of dew getting in the electrics and the compressor unit on the back of the fridge. So I covered that up. And this morning when I took it off, it was like <coughs> where it stuck to the softish paint. And again. When the girls are here, I can't have open hatches everywhere, they're going to fall down. So it needs to be set, dry and ready that it's perfectly safe for them. Uh, also tomorrow, if it's not chucking it down, I'm taking out Sam and a couple of her friends out to out for a little little motor. So again, I need the, the, the covers down, seats on, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it really for now. Um, I'll show you a quick zoom around. There's not much to say really apart from it's very white, which is really nice. It's really, really nice. Um, this bit here, 
that's last night where I got out and just left the footprint for my trainer. So I haven't painted this area, so that's going to be my footprint in and out for the next sort of few hours. Um, and also, that's going to be all grip or whatever it is I use. So that's, that surface there isn't an issue. But otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I'm not saying I'm done because I can continue this as and when I want. But what I can do now is I can get on with putting the uh, getting the railings back on, getting the traveller back on, getting the sail attached, and that's a stress for Rowney Island readiness alleviated. Um, I've ordered all the sort of stainless hardware I need to screw it all down with like fresh A4 nuts and bolts and stuff. So that should be coming in the next few days. Um, the stanchions, if you can call them stanchions, the uprights, the stainless uprights that, that you know, it sits on, they're covered in old paint and varnishes and corrosion. So I'm going to do exactly the same what I've done on the rails, on the um, the rudder brackets, where Scotch Bright hot tap in the, in the toilets and just give them a damn good scrub down. Uh, get them shiny again. And then, yeah, get them rebedded in. I've, I've still got, sorry if I lie. I've still got a few bits to do out here, um, cutting off re slash removing old fair leads. Um, so that one's off, off this side, I showed you before. That one still needs to come off. But again, that's not an issue because the repairs, um, the epoxy and filling the holes and stuff, it's, it's on the deck that's going to have a the all grip or kiwi grip, whatever I use. This is going to come off and be rebedded. Again, not an issue because it's all on here. Everything that's on the, what's going to stay white and painted white, white there, is done. The only one that isn't done is the small fair lead on that side. That's got to come off. So that's on the white bit. But there's going to be a new fair lead replacing it. Um, one a bit better, like the one I've got on the front. You see it. We've got some nice shiny, shiny ones that work a lot better. That one's quite hard to get anything more than about six mil open. Uh, so yeah, still stuff to do, but stuff that's gonna nothing that's gonna stop me getting the rails back on and getting the mainsail attached again. So I'm now a prisoner on the boat for a good hour and a half. So hour and a half time, sort of about eleven o'clock. I'll uh, take off all the masking tape and let the sun and heat do its do its thing while I'm sorting the boat out, ready for the kids. But I, if I remember, I'll zoom in, I'll do, I'll do a quick um, scan later when it's all unmasked. And in the meantime, this afternoon, early afternoon before I go and do this cylinder, I'm going to, um, all the hatches, except the minute the, the hatches, hatch covers are absolutely minging inside. Out, not so much because I've sanded them now, but inside there's full of dry paint and bleh. Um, and I'm thinking because it's out of the way and out of the way of the cockpit and everything, I'll take them down the front onto the pontoon and get my jet wash to them and just blast off what I can before I then start taking to sandpaper and the yeah, getting it all cleaned up, ready to get the inside of the hatches painted. Sounds a bit backwards, but I'm going to paint the inside first and then do the top side. Um, yeah. And then I'll start looking, drilling them, getting them reattached. But that's all to come. That's all to come for now. I'm a prisoner and I'm going to tidy the boat up, ready for the kiddie winks. I'll speak to you in a bit. I thought I'd lost a child when I come down here, and one of them is hiding under there. <laughs> Mentalists. Hey guys, we're the, the Jubilee salute here. My very old foghorn, a little blast, and then sort of not much else. Bit of an anti climax. <laughs> That's quite embarrassing. Isn't it? Hey guys, this is a Tuesday night. Video's going out tomorrow. It feels like, looking back at this footage, it feels like it's absolutely months ago. I'm so behind. It's actually only a few weeks ago, but I'm desperately trying to get sort of more up to date. So please bear with me. Um, my time is very, very limited at the minute, and my spare time is taken up with other big jobs that's going to be coming in future videos. 
Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, down below, you'll see ways to support me with uh, uh, Patreon and buy me a coffee. And my Amazon wish list that isn't too great at the minute. Uh, but yeah, in the future, there's a lot more exciting videos to come um, and some big changes ahead for Foxy Lady. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Uh, a massive thank you to a patron, Blue Dog Oz, if you've got you there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you later. Have a good one.